Two Alpha, take four, marker. This is a behind the scenes look at a high budget tech commercial production. Months of planning and five days of filming in four different locations. Houston, we have a problem. Hey guys, it's Austin. We are out here filming a Salesforce commercial. We were out here and other locations a couple weeks ago doing some scouting, but now today is the day. We're filming for a whole week, day one. We're on University Street at a contemporary art museum called Qualia, right next to the Apple Store. So really exciting, dope location, lots of things to do. And right now we're just waiting for things to be set up, all the talent to get in, and I'm gonna set up my station. doing is we're trying to show this character who's got a lot of work on his mind so he's, he's thinking about work all the time and it's kind of spilling over into his personal life so for example he goes to a gallery which is where we are now um, and he's looking at the, the paintings and because he's thinking about work the paintings actually start speaking to him we also have another scene which is uh, in a movie theater where like the actors in the movie are, are speaking to him yeah that's what we're filming this is day one and um, yeah we're excited I'm from LA and I'm playing Brian, the IT specialist who can't get oh, work off his that mind. That I pretty much represent oh everyone that's working a 9 to 5 in America. You know what I mean? So I'm excited, man. It's gonna be fun. The comedy flashbacks are actually, that's what I really liked about the script too. They're hilarious. I think just a little bit too fast. Okay. I think just let's slow it down just a little bit. So kind of like you walk in here, da, 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 line, line, line. We don't have the rights to any art or anything. So we have to like just create them. So we had to get models uh -huh. who we then pretended to paint. So it's a digital painting. If you have a look, it's like digital painting. It's not like a real painting or anything, but it's it's made to look as if it's- uh, A Van Gogh. Yeah, uh, it's imitating the Van Gogh style. I thought I ordered a size medium, but it really came as a small, so I had clamps on my back. And um, the hat was made out of felt. Super cheap. I mean, Jose's costume literally was like tissue paper. Oh wow. Yeah, it was super cheap. I mean, it's still called, it, it looks good. That's what yeah. it looks like. Wowzers. Yeah. That turned into this. <laughs> and that. Uh, there we go, Jose. She looks pretty good, Jose. Honestly, yeah. you should wear that out. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Can we get away, Patesh? Let's go down. Two alpha, take four, marker. Set. Three, two, one, action. And here we have a 19th century self portrait. Sort of the original selfie. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we'll continue down this way. Okay, all right, cool. Let's cut there, and then I've got, I'm, I'm trying to go here. I mean, we're kind of freewheeling it at this point. Oh, yeah? uh, you got three minutes until the okay. light, yeah. All right. that I'm backing up right now. And yeah, other than that, I was just doing a bunch of uh, BTS on set and helping out however way that I can. And that is the art gallery. So tomorrow is gonna be the movie theater. All right, see you there. So for day two, we are here at the Alameda Theater and Cineplex in downtown Alameda. This theater, from what I was told, is really old. I think it was made in like the 1930s and it was closed for a while and then they renovated everything uh, to what it is now and it's been open for I think a little over 10 years now. I got to wrangle up a bunch of extras, a lot of them are my friends so it's pretty interesting seeing a few people from uh, high school and college and just a bunch of a bunch of people so it's really cool to see see them all here. Should we get 
Yeah, Two beta, take six, marker. So, so far we've done a frontal, like a wide frontal on Brian, which is like where we've got the big expansive size of the, the movie theater. We've got Brian eating the popcorn, all that kind of stuff, and then looking shocked as this, this character speaks to him. And then we've done a medium of that, and now we're just setting up for what is the reverse shot of that. So where the audience, the people who are watching this commercial, they see what Brian sees on screen, and they see the astronaut break the fourth wall and speak to him as he's watching the movie. how sharp it is even though like, like almost wide open yeah and it feels so like thick too it just feels so, like the three-dimensionality of everything yeah. is just so nice Alrighty, little vlog moment but i'm gonna show you guys what we got so far let me just clean the lens so this is the viewing software for this and it just looks a one look at that that's a legit commercial right there day two an astronaut talks to me in the theater it was awesome the background was great we killed it you get to see the back of my head. I'm not balding. All right, guys, welcome everyone to this really early and somewhat rainy morning out here in Berkeley. We're in this nice house. It was listed on Pier Space. We're filming a scene where our main character is now at home and the thing that's kind of messing with his head is while he's taking care of his baby the baby actually starts talking to him in like an adult voice and the baby's gonna request something like hey man like one of our services is down can you fix that for us so it's that type of situation all right so we have right here chris camacho in charge of sound yes uh, what are we doing here? I am prepping some labs for our talent. So we have four today, so each one of them is going to get one of these. Mm -hmm. And I'm just putting some tape on their labs so I can mic them quick when they get here. Awesome. Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, poop, smiley face. I don't know if the smiley face. Take one and mark. Beautiful. Boom. Here we are. <laughs> <laughs> hey there, uh, this is Andres Gallegos. I am the DP of the Automate Empower Millsoft commercial. So yeah, here we are with the Alexa LF, large sensor, 36 millimeter horizontal, 24 millimeters vertical. We're using the new Cook anamorphic full frame lenses, which they have a 1x anamorphic factor, which put us on like, a, what was the number? Just one second. <laughs> You're okay. 64. Okay. And this is like a serious camera. That's this is. You could probably film like a James Bond movie with this. Pretty much, yeah. Oh, so yeah. Um, with that camera configuration, we do have virtually a sensor size of 64 millimeters by 24 millimeters, which is like a large, very large sensor, and almost medium format. I heard. Almost being format, yeah, 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 very close to Alexa 65 image. We're getting like an extra immersion out of the large sensor, out mm -hmm. of those lenses. How uh, has it been so far for the past two days? It's been amazing. It's like unbelievable what this system can do. Mm -hmm. It's just like, yeah, it's like a really great piece of equipment. <laughs> How you doing, man? Day three. Day three. Stress. Oh, yeah. I walk straight in and straight into the stress. It's like 15 people. I'm not late. I'm a direct actor whenever I want. It's like 15 people in a crammed, like, bathroom. That's right, yeah. And we're, restri we're, we're, like, really restricted by space. And we're using mirrors to kind of, like, give us more space. So mm -hmm. It's tough, but we'll get through it. We for real have one of our talent on a scissor lift right now. Check it out. This is the one. Set. Action. Ah. Hey, Brian. Our SSO went down. Well, the database won't update. Yeah, can we get that fixed protocol, Bruce? Uh, yeah. 
can get on with that. So every time I pick lunch, it's always fire. So check this out. We got Pratesh and his uh, vegetarian bur uh, sandwich right here. How do you like that? Is it good? So good, bro. We got the tots right here. Must. The Dutch crunch, baby. Let's see that. Mm -hmm. We get that foodie hit. Mm-hmm. And? Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. It's only Christmas, Thanksgiving, and we're lucky. I went to school for accounting and a minor in English. No. Yeah. And I had like a 3.8 GPA. I killed it real quick. And then uh, my mom had me come home and she's like, oh, Guru's here from India. And he was like an astrologer. And he read my chart and he said, what do you have a degree? And I was like, counting. He said, you're never going to use your degree for your career. Not going to chance. Not a chance. Yeah. I was pissed too. Because in my eyes, I thought he said I was going to be homeless. So, six months later, I had a job lined up, and it was starting six months after I, I graduated. Anyway, my mom found this acting class in Orange County, so I was driving up once a week. And the guy's like, dude, you're really good. And he randomly had me audition for an agent who signed me on the spot. I had no pressure. I was like, I'm gonna start my job. Who cares, right? Mm -hmm. And I started doing print modeling work and it just felt right. And I remember, I was like, if I make it in this within the next five months, that's how naive I was, I'll quit my job. And the day came, it was two days before my job was supposed to start. And literally, I was like having a panic attack. I was crying, I was freaking out. Everything in my soul was like, you can't take this job. I told my mom, told my sister. My mom, who's always supported me, was like, why would we come all the way from India? to live two hours away from LA, grew up in San Diego, and not allow my son to pursue his dreams. What's the point? If we, if we didn't want you to have options, we would've stayed in India. So, I was scared of my dad, obviously. So I called that guru back. And I went upstairs, I called him, I was like crying. I'm like, you came here, you told me that I wouldn't use my degree, I wanna pursue acting. He goes, yeah, your whole chart's about entertainment, bro. That's like, that's your future. You just weren't ready to hear me. I was like, what? So I called my dad freaking out and I'm like, hey, I decided I'm gonna quit my job before I start because I realized what, I wanna pursue this. Quiet, Sign. I could feel the steam, like a dragon on the other side of the line, but it is what it is. And then I called HR, it was lunchtime, it was noon. I still remember like it was yesterday. I, was, I left a voicemail, I said, hey, it's Pratesh. I won't be coming on Monday because I figured out what I wanna do with the rest of my life. Hung up, freaking out. Hour later, I get a call back. And she goes, you know what, honey, I got your voicemail and I wish I made the same decision when I was your age. And here we are. And how long have you been in the industry? 11 years now. 11 years. The rest is history, bro. Best wow. decision I ever made. Amazing. 100%. Second six, two Charlie, play two, marker. Hey Brian, can we set up a ticketing system? Can we get that by end of day? And um, can we get that by end of day? And can we get that by end of day? So interesting thing, I didn't even know, but um, in order to get the baby to talk, you need some actual lips moving, right? Because the baby can't do that. So plan A was Kelsey's nephew. And I was plan B, so that's what you saw in there. I was just making sure I was lined up exactly the same way where the baby's lips would have been. That's why I looked super uncomfortable. And then I was saying some lines and I don't know, maybe I'll make the cut, maybe. My name is Sam, I'm the stage manager here at Mama Dog Studios. A little fun fact about us, we've had Steph Curry come here several times and he was kind enough to sign a custom Mama Dog Studios basketball. We love having him here, we hope to have him back. We're really excited to have MuleSoft here making our studio space into literal space. Um, we can't wait to see what they do. As you can see, we blacked out the stage. We only do this for our favorite clients. So. We're very excited to have you there. And also, no, we are the only sound stage in the East Bay. So keep that in mind. Right now.
now, because we have roughly the full sequence from day one, I'm actually building that out right now. I'm just playing around with the footage where I kind of like piece it together, progressing the edit and kind of visualizing how it's actually gonna look. Houston, we have a problem. Yeah, you still get the shadows, but you like the dark. That is nice. Houston. Houston, do you copy? Houston, this is Alpha One. Hey, Brian, we have a problem. So, lunch was good, but, uh. Look at this. No one ate the rice. <laughs> Yeah, Jensen did that, our uh, AC, right there. Sad life, no one eats the rice. Hello, I'm Ryan Campbell, and today I'll be playing Van Gogh. Perfect, awesome. And Sophia, what are you uh, working on doing? What's, what's, the, what's the goal for this look? We have this to look? make this gentleman look like he's from the 1800s, and I hope I accomplish that somewhat. He's gonna be painted yeah, like on the computer. I think just have him down for now, and then I'll, I'll assess that once we get into it. Hey Brian, yeah you, I left my data back in Amsterdam. Could you migrate that over for me? So today we're shooting the scenes where we are in the office. So this is where our actor Brian is gonna set up his situation, we're gonna know a little bit about him, we're gonna know how he loves his job, but there's a few things which are playing on his mind, and um, so that'll be good. And then we're gonna shoot the outro, which is where he's gonna uh, introduce the solution, which of course will be Mulesoft. So yeah, that's it. Uh, busy day, but it's the final day, so let's stay strong, everybody. Always on my mind. Always on my mind. Okay, okay. Maybe more pencils and stuff on the foreground, yeah. Do you want something like these, like the books or some books, yeah, elements over there? We yeah, do that, yeah. The drives yeah. are out of play. I think uh, that's a wrap. Thank you, guys. That's a wrap. It's a wrap. Can I hear that again, Lito? It's a wrap. Oh, that's a wrap. Yeah, it's a wrap. That's yes, a wrap. sir. <laughs> Come on! Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, thank you! Oh, Love you, man. Thanks, I'm out. Man. Awesome week, brother. Thank you, Matt. Awesome. Thank you so much. I'll see you soon. Take care. Thanks,